one, two, one, two. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise God.
stand me? Who can stand me for us when we call on that great name? Oh, tell me who can stand me for us when we We are the victory. I said, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, demons will have to flee. In the name of Jesus, in the name. Jesus, the man who left to free. Oh, tell me who can stand for us when we call on that great name. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, precious Jesus, be my good to flee. Somebody pray the name of Jesus. I said, somebody pray the name of Jesus. Somebody pray the name of Jesus. I want to hear the church say, Hallelujah. Somebody pray the name of Jesus. Somebody pray the name of Jesus. There was a time on earth. And in the book of heaven, and all that count was standing for sins. Yes, forgiven. My name was on the top, and many things below. But I went unto the keeper and said, Long ago, long ago, oh, long ago. I'm 
No, 
Natal, nacido sin Natal, no sin ganar. Praise the Lord, everyone. We praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. We lift up the name of Jesus. We give unto to God the highest praise. Our God is worthy to be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto his most holy name. For his name is great and greatly to be praised. Amen. God is worthy to be praised all the time. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. And today I want to lift up the wonderful, saving, all-powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is because of him that today we are able to gather in this fashion to praise him and to magnify him and to give him glory. Our God is worthy to be praised. I can tell you that when you lift up the name of Jesus as it is said, when the praises go up, then the blessings will come down. So if you will praise the Lord along with me and worship the Lord, then I'm sure you will receive a blessing. I want to lift up Jesus. He's the reason we are here today. Praise God. He's a keeper of my soul. He's the strength of my life. Praise the Lord. And I want to greet our bishop, Bishop Otis Malcolm, to greet all the officers and saints in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are Oh, worshiping with us online, praise the Lord Jesus, those who are present, and I speak of the musicians and the members of the praise team, praise the Lord, uh, Minister Mario Christie, praise the Lord, Deacon Reed, all the deacons, missionaries, evangelists who are watching online, just about everyone, praise the Lord God, to give you all the praise and the glory. We know we are in an abbreviated service, praise the Lord, and we want to make the best of this opportunity. And sure, if we worship the Lord in spirit and in truth, then the Lord will pour out a blessing upon us. Amen. 
God has a blessing for us. We didn't come here today for nothing. Praise the Lord. We came here to worship the Lord. And as we do so, God is going to pour out a blessing upon us. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. We're going to go into our service. Thank the praise team for setting the foundation for the day's service. And right now we're going to be singing a hymn of praise. I heard an old, old story. Our Savior came from glory. How he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his groaning of his precious blood's atoning. Then I repented of my sins and won the victory. Praise the Lord. I heard an old, old story. How a Savior came from glory. And he brought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me, yeah, I know him, and all my love is to him. He plunged me into victory in the darkness in blood. And somehow Jesus came and brought to me the victory. Victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he brought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me and I know him and all my love is to him. He plunged me into victory. I heard about a mansion, he held me in glory, and I heard about the streets of gold beyond the crystal sea, about the angels singing, and the redemption story, and some sweet day I sing a favorite song of victory. My Savior forever He's He saw me and He brought me With His redeeming love He loved me I know Him And all my love is to Him He plunged me into the victory He did the cleansing blood Oh, victory Jesus My Savior forever He saw me forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. You know something? I can't wait until I get there to praise the Lord and to worship him. So while I still have the breath in me, I'm going to give him all of the glory because he has already given the victory unto me. You too can have the victory if you will but just lift up the name of Jesus. A songwriter says, when I get there, when I get there, 
I will sing and shout when I get there. Hallelujah. But I can't wait to get there. Amen. To do though. So I am practicing right now. Giving God the praise for the blessings. For the victory that he has given unto me. Hallelujah. Praise, God. praise the Lord. Our God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going to be inviting our bishop. Bishop Otis Malcolm to take us to the throne of grace at this time. Praise God. Amen. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he brought me with his redeeming blood. Hallelujah. He loved me here, I know him, and all my love is due him. He plunged me into victory beneath the cleansing flood. Father, we thank you. For another opportunity, Lord, where we can gather in this year house of worship. Oh God, on this Sabbath day, this is the day, oh God, that you have made. And we are here to rejoice and be glad in it. We, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, amen, that you have enabled us to see a brand new year. Yes, Lord, you have enabled us to dine at your table. Yes, Lord, to celebrate the Lord's Supper. Amen. Last night, and we are truly blessed this morning. God Almighty, we have received uh, more life. Yes, Lord, uh, in a world uh, of th that is dying. And so, Father, we thank you that you have given us even this privilege this morning to come and to rejoice, to magnify you, and to exalt your holy name. God Almighty, you are great. Uh, and you do miracles so great. Father, I commit this service into your hands this morning. Yes, Lord, as your man servant, Deacon Knight, stand to moderate this service. I ask you, Lord, that as usual, that you will use him as an oracle of thine. Help him, Lord, as he stand to avail himself. Oh, God, that you can use him. I pray, God, that you will stretch out yourself in him. Oh God, so that his words will be your words. Lord, his thoughts will be your thoughts. Lord God, his actions will be your actions. Use him, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord, to be an oracle of thine. Bless him in all that you do this morning as he lead us into worship. Father, I commit into your hands. Even the musicians uh, and the praise and worship leader and the technical uh, amen department I put into your hands this morning. Uh, I pray God that you'll unctionize them for your use, uh, for your purpose right now. Anoint them for this time. Uh, so God, as we're in unprecedented time, uh, oh God, we have to, amen, do what is necessary, amen, so that we can maintain our fellowship. Uh, and so Heavenly Father, we pray even now uh, that you will anoint them, God, uh, as they are instrumental in making this life possible. Use them to your honor and to your glory. In the name of Jesus and your man servant who will be breaking the bread of life today. Lord God in person of minister Mario Christi. Lord God I pray you'll anoint him even now. From the crown of his head. And to the very soul of his feet. I pray God that an extraordinary anointing uh, will be placed on his life this morning. Uh, so God as he opens his mouth uh, he will not speak uh, his word but he will speak uh, thus said the Lord uh, we need to hear from you God. Uh, we need a word from you Heavenly Father if we don't hear from you Lord uh, what will we do? We need a word uh, for the season we need a word uh, for the time we need a ream a word. Speak to us, Lord. Send a word from home this morning. So every broken heart, God will be mended. Every, every sin sick soul, God will be healed today. And deliverance will hit those who are viewing this morning. In the name of Jesus, we declare, Lord, that nothing will rise against this service. We speak now in the name of Jesus upon the authority of your word. Words. We say let God arise in this room and let the enemy be scattered. Father, I declare right now that no weapon formed against this service will prosper. God, every tongue that rise in judgment shall be condemned. Send a word across this internet today in the name of Jesus so that souls will be delivered. 
the name of Jesus. And I pray God that every sick person, my God, viewing today will be healed. Every demon possessed today will be delivered. Every condition, Father, will be dealt with according to your will and your purpose for your people's life. Hear, O oh Israel. Hallelujah. The Lord, our oh God, is one Lord. Do it for us today, Father. Yes, While we swing the service into your hands, yes, we wait upon you today, God. We say thanks in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Ooh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the victory. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the joy that is flowing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Mighty God, mighty God, you are. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The anointing surely makes all the difference. The anointing makes the difference. The anointing breaks the yoke. Praise God. The anointing brings the victory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Bishop Malcolm, for such a powerful prayer. Praise God. Praise God. I feel the anointing in this place. Praise the Lord Jesus. And I sense also that the anointing is reaching out to whosoever is watching online at this moment. You can feel the anointing of God because the anointing of God transcends everywhere and everything and reaches out over the airwaves into your homes wherever you are and if you will reach out and touch him by faith you can be blessed because our God is able to do all things hallelujah with God all things are possible oh praise the Lord Jesus praise the Lord Jesus praise the Lord Jesus praise the Lord Jesus I have not forgotten those of you who are watching online and I want to welcome you to our service, our online service today. Praise the Lord Jesus. Wherever you are, whatever time of the day, it is in your neck of the woods. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you've taken time out to tune in to this service today. And for this reason, God is going to be reaching out to you and is going to be blessing in you in a tremendous way. Whatever your needs are, you can have the victory. You can be blessed because the power of God is real and it's reaching out to you. Praise the Lord Jesus. God bless you very much as you stay tuned and let the Lord have his way in your life. Praise God. I want to turn now to the days of uh, scripture reading for our meditation the two scriptures the first one comes to us from hebrews chapter 9 hebrews chapter 9 reading from verse 11 to verse 14 and first peter chapter 1 13 to 19 praise the lord Hebrews chapter 9, reading from verse 11 to verse 14. But Christ, being come an high priest of good things to come, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. For of the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an ephor sprinkling the unclean, sanctifieth to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, how much more, 
shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. And 1 Peter chapter 1, 13 to verse 19. Yea, I think it meet, as long as I am in this tabernacle, to stir you up by putting you in remembrance, knowing that shortly I must put off this my tabernacle, even as our Lord Jesus Christ hath showed me. Moreover, I will endeavor that he may be able, after my decease, to have these things always in remembrance. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received from God the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And this voice, which came from heaven, we heard when we were with him in the holy mount, 19th and appointed. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise, in your heart. Praise the Lord. Well, for whatever reason, the Lord has it for this to be done. Praise the Lord Jesus, but let the Lord have his way. Amen. All right, I turn now to First Peter chapter 1, 13 to 19. It says, submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evil doers and for the praise of them that do well. I don't know what's happening. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be he holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, be he holy, for I am holy. And if he call on the Father who without respect of persons judgeth according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. 19th and uh, ending. But with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Amen. We praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. And the Lord promised to add his richest blessings to the reading of his words. I just want to acknowledge the presence of God here with us today. And, you know, it just came to me that, you know, these difficult times we are living, indeed we are living in perilous times. And it is a time when the hearts of so many are confused and frustrated and the enemy does so much to confuse and to disturb people. So many things are happening and many people are losing out, are getting frustrated and distressed. But we have an anchor that keeps the soul. Steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Fastened to the rock which cannot move. Grounded, firm, and deep in the Savior's love. 
It doesn't matter what you try to do. You try to hold on to Jesus. You try to walk by faith. You try to live for the Lord. But along comes the enemy and he tries to turn your thoughts aside. He tries to disturb your peace of mind. He tries to turn you around and to create all sorts of problems for you. But we know that our God is well able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we're able to ask or think. Praise the Lord Jesus. God bless you as you continue in worship and the Lord promised to add to us the blessings of our heart, all that we desire to receive from him. He's able to pour it out upon us. Praise the Lord Jesus. Very shortly, the man of God is coming with the word of God. Praise the Lord Jesus. We do not want to take up too much of his time because we realize that we are operating in an abbreviated kind of service. Praise the Lord. But God is still with us and God is doing a mighty work. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Redeemed now, I love to proclaim it. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed through His infinite mercy. His child and forever I am. Redeemed, redeemed, redeemed. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed, redeemed. His child and forever I am. Redeemed, redeemed. Praise the Lord Jesus. Our speaker for the day is coming to us. He's not unknown to most of us. He's of our own minister, Mario Christie, a young man who is being used of God in so many ways, and the Lord continues to use him. He's made himself available to be used of God, and today I'm sure will be no exception, because with the anointing of God upon his life, I'm sure the Lord has a word to give unto us today. Open up your heart to receive what he has to put forth from the Lord and may your hearts be tremendously blessed as you receive what the Lord has in store for you. Come Brother Maria Christi, God bless you in Jesus name. All my life you've been faithful all my life you've been so, so good With heavy breath that I am able I will sing of your goodness All my life, all my life, all my life All my life you have been faithful All my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God Oh, all my life I've been faithful Oh, all my life you have been so, so good Every breath that I am able Oh, how I will say of your goodness of God Somebody say your goodness is running after me Your goodness is running after it's running after me Your goodness is running after It's running after me Come on, your goodness is running after me Your goodness is running after It's running after me Your goodness Your goodness is running after It's running after me 
all my life, all my life, all my life, you've been faithful. All my life, my life, you have been so, so. With every breath, with every breath that I am in, I will sing. Of your goodness. Come on, somebody give the Lord a praise. Come on, somebody shout the hallelujah. Somebody shout the hallelujah. Come on, somebody lift up holy hands and magnify the Lord. I know we are just 10 persons in here, but I believe that we still have our worship. Come on, somebody shout the hallelujah. Come on, those who are online, come on, somebody just type on your screen. Someone just type a hallelujah. Come on, somebody type a hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. My honor is to him, who is the head of my life and my soon coming king. Secondly, to my bishop and spiritual father, my spiritual parents, Bishop Malcolm and Lady Malcolm, to evangelists, to Minister Ward, to Deacon Knight, Deacon Reed, to Evangelist Witter, Evangelist McClucking, and Evangelist Judith Bailey, to all the missionaries, to all the saints of Almighty God, I give you holy greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus. It is a honor and a privilege for me to be in God's presence one more time, to be one of the selected to give service in his house. And so I give him praise and honor I greet my beautiful wife who is watching via Facebook also to all our online viewers, to all our regular viewers, to all our first time viewers. I, be, I give you holy greetings. I want to break a word for us in the short as we know that we are working with time, with time, we are working with time. And so we want to do it as best as we can. Amen. As we are law abiding citizens. Amen. Amen and amen. I want to bring to you a theme for the interest of time. I will not read the scripture reading. It was already read by Deacon Knight. Hebrews 9, 11 to 14. And First Peter 1, verse 1, 13 to 19. And I will pull from this a simple theme. I have life because of the blood. I have life because of the blood. I think somebody should be excited because on last night we, 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 we drank the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and we have eaten his body and so because of that we have life. Amen. We have life. We have life. I have life because of the blood. Father, I bless you. I honor you. I thank you for your grace that is on my life. I thank you for your mercies that you continue to bestow upon me, Father God. I, I am unworthy. I am undone. But Lord, I beg of your washing, your cleansing, your purification. Uh, God, your words are already anointed. And so God, I need your anointing to break this road. I pray God you will anoint me for service even now. Give your people receptive heart to receive a word in this season. We declare that Lord that, that somebody will be blessed. Somebody will be set free. Somebody will be will be delivered. We declare it and we call it so by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus name. Somebody shout in Jesus name. Somebody shout in Jesus name. Bless the Lord Jesus. I'm going to ask those who are with us in the room that I am not independent of your support. Amen. Blessing of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Yes, Bishop. That's so right. Amen. And so we're doing this together. Amen. Amen. I have life because of the blood. Because of the blood. In our day and age, most of us are uncomfortable when we begin talking about the blood. Talking about, talking about blood. Because we are living in a world that is filled with sin. And as a result of that, we live our lives in fear. We live, we live our lives in fear. Because every day on our nation news, we hear about brutal killings. Brutal killings. And so when we hear someone mention the word blood, it 
just bring a negative reaction. But the blood that I want to talk to you about today, it's completely different. This blood justifies. This blood justifies. This blood gives access. This blood gives access. It was Paul who said in Romans 5, in Romans 5, we are justified not by our works, but by the blood of Jesus Christ. It is, it is now more than 2,000 years ago since our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ suffered, bled, and died upon the cross of Calvary. And from that day on, from that day on to this, millions are born and heard the whole story. How Jesus came from glory, suffered, bled, and died for our sins. But not only did he die, but he was buried and three days later he rose from the grave declaring that all power in heaven and in earth is given unto me well it is an old story and sometimes it it is forgotten even in the church but i come to tell somebody without the blood we are nothing i said again without the blood we are nothing i strongly believe this this service that we call the lord's supper and uh, some call him the holy communion was given by the lord was given by the lord that we might live again somebody say live again that we might live again now from the beginning of time from the beginning of creation there is a red line there is a red line there is a red line a bloodline that run from genesis to revelation a bloodline that runs from genesis to revelation in order that we might understand that god who is sovereign did not look at uh, the salvation of uh, mankind as being some little cheap thing. I wish somebody would with me. Understanding that uh, Peter said uh, we were not redeemed with corruptible things uh, like silver and gold. Uh, but with the precious. Uh, and the word precious means uh, it is something that is very expensive. Something uh, is bought with a, a very tremendous price. Come on, somebody shout the hallelujah. But the truth of the matter is uh, a, a Christian without the blood uh, is like flesh without breath. Uh, it, it's lifeless. Somebody say something. Uh, that's why we should never take uh, the blood for granted. Uh, because the cross was not our right, uh, but rather our privilege. I wish somebody would help me up in here. The first glimpse that we get into the working of the blood is found in Genesis. It's found in Genesis when man first sinned. Uh, God, somebody better say something in this room. When man first sinned, God made man sinless. Uh, made him from the of the ground but even though he mold and shape man the bible say into into the image of god it was not until god breathed a portion of himself into his nostril the breath of life that man became a living soul hallelujah to the lamb of god and god saw that Adam was lonely and so the Bible said God placed in him placed him into a deep sleep and took from him a rib and created a woman called Eve hallelujah hallelujah and gave them instruction as to how they should take care of the garden how to take care of the garden told them what they were to do and what they were not 
to do but the Bible say Satan presented himself to the woman in the form of a serpent and beguiled the woman I'm just setting the foundation I'm running real quick she ate the forbidden fruit and gave it to her husband and he hit it and suddenly hallelujah and suddenly their eyes became open and they recognized God from they recognized good from evil and recognized they had done evil and understood immediately that they were naked and they attempted to hide themselves behind fig, fig leaves and so when God came down in the cool of the day in the cool of the day to commune like he always do he said Adam we are thou and his response and he responded Lord I am naked oh I feel this up in here he said Lord I am naked and in my own words the Lord must be saying how do you know that you're naked did you eat the fruit ah the fruit of the tree that I said you shouldn't eat and Adam replied Lord the woman you gave me hit the fruit and gave it to me oh somebody better help me hallelujah here we see man trying to find excuse for their own action who somebody help me up in here uh, but man trying to find excuse for his own action and so we can see it in our society today when we take or we can see it in our society today nobody want to take responsibility for their own action and so you will hear things like this is you hear things like this my he was a drunkard and so that's why I'm a drunkard but the devil is a liar the devil is a liar we need the blood we need the blood we need the blood and so somebody will say my mom was a prostitute and that's why I'm a prostitute but I to lose you I got to lose that spirit of you with the blood of Jesus and so persons will say I was born under a, under a bad sign and so that's why my life is like this but I come to tell you it doesn't matter what kind of sign you're born I want to introduce to you I want to introduce to somebody who can break the curse and make a new creature out of you I don't care oh God I said I don't care who you are and what you're going through but can I tell you Christ shall break Christ shall break every fetter and set you free oh God help me somebody so Jesus now God apart from himself being wrapped in flesh 100% God yet 100% man he feels like we feel knows like we know he struggle as we struggle because of his understanding of our humanity he took out the necessity of his assignment and 
And when Jesus went to the cross to shed his blood, he tore down the wall of separation between what we deserve and what we oh God, somebody help me. Between what we deserve and what he wanted to give us. Ooh, somebody help me preach. He gave us everything for almost nothing. Knowing that we would have failed him. But, 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 he still shed his blood. He pulls us out of the destination of destitution and made us sons and daughters through the blood of Jesus. The song man put it. I like it. There was one who was willing to die in my stead. That a soul so unworthy might live in the path to the cross. He was willing to tread all the sins of my life to forgive. They were nailed to the cross. They were nailed to the cross. How much he was willing to bear with what anguish and loss. Jesus went to the cross, but he carried, but he carried my sins with him dear. And so Adam said, Lord, the woman, the woman you gave me, gave it to me, and I did heat, and so they covered themselves with fig leaves. Our forefathers messed up, but in spite of that, oh God, I said our forefathers messed up some more, Grant. But in spite of that, he still shed his blood. He still shed his blood that you and I can live. For it is in Paul's letter to the church in Rome that he tells us that through one man's sin enter into the world. But through another man, death was defeated. I wish somebody would get excited. Don't sin, don't sin, true sin. We forfeited our rights to the kingdom, but through the blood of Jesus, we became recipients. I wish somebody who just helped me I said, through the blood of Jesus, we became recipients of the blessing that brings oh god the blessing that's been included in the makeup of jesus understand that the blood of jesus is a gift from god it's a gift from god it was the solution before we ever had a problem minister that it was a solution before you ever had a problem it was uh, so powerful uh, that it gave us uh, what we didn't deserve. Uh, I have life. Uh, I have life uh, because of the blood. Uh, we are messed up, uh, but there is still uh, life for us. Uh, that we are messed up, uh, but there is still life uh, for us. Uh, I really don't know who I'm preaching to. Uh, but can I tell you what can wash away my sin? And nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Wrath of ages cleared for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Oh God, somebody help me, somebody help me, wounded, from his wounded, said 
it flow. I really don't know who I'm encouraging. But there is life. There is life in the blood of Jesus. At last. And did my Savior bled. And did my suffering die. Would he devote the sacred head for sinner such as I? I really don't know who I'm preaching to. I really don't know who I'm talking to. I really don't know what you're going to. But can I ask you, are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Can I ask you, that are you washed? Are you washed? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood? Pigeon blood couldn't do it. Pigeon blood couldn't do it. Blood blood couldn't do it. It took the blood. The blood of Jesus. It took the blood. The blood. The spotless lamb. The spotless lamb. The spotless lamb. He was blameless. He had no sin. I come to tell somebody. You don't have to die. In your stead. You don't have to die. In sin. For there is. A fountain. Fair. With blood. Drawn. From. Emmanuel's vein. And sin. The unplunger beneath the floor and loser, loser. Hey. Loser, loser. I really don't know who I'm preaching to. Oh, God. But I come to tell you that there is still life. There is still life in the blood. There is still life. The fountain is still active. The fountain is still active. The blood is still flowing. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't care about the hell that you're going through. But I come to tell you the blood it is still flowing. You can still dip. There is still life. There is still life. For it reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley. Oh, it is the blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never, it will never, it will never, it will never lose its power. No other blood, no other blood could heal my broken, my broken body. I don't know about you, but last night I came broken, I came broken, I came empty, but I died at the master's table, and because I died, I can boldly say, I have life, I have life, I was alive, I was dead, but now I'm alive and well, because he live, I can face tomorrow, because he live, all my fears are gone, somebody shout hallelujah. I'm 
religion but you're going to hell but can I tell you just activate your faith activate your faith and believe God because the last time I checked he's no longer dead but he's alive and well he's alive and well he did it just for me he did it just for you you made a shake off yourself shake off yourself and so I shall not die but I shall live and declare the works of the Lord the devil can't kill what God has anointed to live Satan you should have killed me when you had the charge but the fact that I drank the blood I had his body I am no stronger I am wiser I can say devil devil the Lord Jesus rebuke you Satan get thee behind me I can say for the weapons of a warfare on a border of the mighty true God to the pulling down a stronghold live again live again live again no weapon form against me shall prosper in every tongue and rise up against me in judgment I shall condemn why for the heart is the Lord and the fullness thereof I don't know who I'm bringing to but God's gonna tell you you have life You have life. I'm closing. You have life. You have life. I have life. Because of the blood, the superior blood. That blood that was shed for me. I have life. I have life. I have strength to go one more here. To look that whole devil. Eyeball to eyeball. And say, devil, devil, you hold me down for a very long time. I wanted to go, but you wouldn't let me go. Now I'm free. You come running after me. But you can't catch me. I said, you can't catch me. You will not catch me. Because I am now equipped by the blood of the Lamb. How can I hang without saying to the body of Christ? I don't know who you're trusting. But can I tell you, in a time like this, you need to trust Jesus. Man can't help you. Man can't help you. Your parents can't help you. You need Jesus. The holy man can't help you. The, oh God Almighty. The palm reader can't help you. Oh God. The witchcraft worker can't help you. You need uh, the blood. You need uh, the superior blood. The blood of Jesus. You want to live again. You need the blood. Can I ask to tell you? You need to trust in God. Some trust uh, in chariots. Uh, some trust uh, in horses. Uh, but we will. Uh, we will. Uh, remember. The name. Uh, of the Lord. Uh, is a strong tower. The righteous. Uh, run up into him. Uh, and they are saved. Uh, I read it down now. Who I'm preaching to. But stop your crying. Uh, stop your mourning. Uh, weeping. Uh, they endure. For a night. Uh, but joy. But joy. Uh, come in the morning. Uh, look to somebody. Uh, and declare. Somebody give the Lord glory. Somebody give the Lord glory. 
Come on, if you have life because of the blood, open your mouth and give the Lord a shout of hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. You see, I can appreciate this word, the good night. Amen. Because give me that note. Amen. The, the, the song says, My sin were higher than the mountain. But the Lord sanctifies me. Anybody out there know what I'm talking about? My sins were flowing like a river. But the Lord sanctified me. God bless you, Minister Christie. Because when I think that I would have died in my sin, my God, somebody told me that there was one who was willing to die in my stead. That a soul so unworthy might live and the path to the cross. He was willing, willing to tread all the sins of my life to forgive good morning everybody but since he died since he gave up his life since he shed his blood I've got something to tell you for it reaches to the highest mountain it flows to the lowest valley oh, oh, oh the blood that gives me strength from January to December it will never lose God bless you good morning minister good morning deacon good morning musician good morning technical music good morning those that live God bless you God keep you God cause his face to shine upon you good morning you shall be blessed in the street bless in the field bless in your home bless on the job in the going out in your coming in you shall be a blessing you shall be the lender not the borrower you shall be above not beneath you shall be before and not behind because of the blood good morning god bless you god keep you god cause his face to shine upon you run your hand from your head right down and declare i'm covered with the blood i'm covered with the blood that's why i'm still alive the devil tried to kill me but the word says when i see the blood i will pass over good morning good morning let me close let me close this but i feel a flowing in the holy ghost i feel a push in the holy ghost run your hand down one more time and say stay on me blood stay on me blood stay on me Jesus oh thank you for your blood thank you for your blood thank you 
you for your blood. Somebody say thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood. Mm. Thank you, Minister Christie. Very timely word. I feel I'm still in supper. I, I, I'm feeling the supper feeling today. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you for, I feel like telling somebody one more time, just run your hand from your head down and say, stay on me, blood. Say, stay on me, blood. Stay on me. Ooh, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Let me pray for these persons. Amen. It's almost, well, it's 20 past 10. Amen. But I still have a little time to pray. Amen. I want to pray this morning for Sister Rosemary Pinnock's husband whose mother died last night. Amen. We're praying his strength and we're praying your strength and for the rest of the family, Sister Pinnock. Let your husband know this morning that the body of Christ is praying for him and his strength. Amen. We're praying this morning for Sister Ethel Carter. Amen. Who suffered a stroke sometime in the week. Amen. She spent a couple of days in the Mapen Hospital. But thanks be to God. She's home right now. Amen. And she's being taken care of by her daughter. Amen. We thank God that she went in the hospital and came out alive. Amen. And not just alive, but she, she came out COVID free. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And so we're praying God's strength, amen, over her life that she will recover speedily. Somebody say speedily. Amen. And we're still praying for, amen, Sister Casanova and her family as they too have lost their father. And so, Amen. We're asking God to strengthen them. Father, we commit into your hand uh, the husband of Sister Rosemary Pinnock. Yes, Lord, as he lost his uh, mother last night. And uh, we are aware, God, it is never easy to have lost a loved one. But this morning, God, uh, the body of Christ here at the Agape Church of God, seventh day. Yes, Lord, we stand in agreement and we commit into your hand, uh, Lord God, uh, the husband and, uh, of Sister Pinnock and the rest of the family as they mourn, uh, amen, the loss of their loved one. We pray, God, that you will just cushion them even now. Uh, yes, Lord, help them, uh, God Almighty, to know that despite their challenge, uh, amen, despite their loss, despite uh, the fact that uh, a family has been taken out uh, by the cold hands of death. Uh, remind them God that you're still in control uh, and that you never change. I pray Father that you will just bind them together Lord with a link of chains that cannot be broken uh, in the name of Jesus and I pray that uh, Sister Pinnock too Father will be strengthened uh, so that she can be a tower of strength uh, in this time to her husband. Uh, I pray God that you will prove yourself amen to be the comforter that your words say that you are amen in times like these God they need a comforter and so father I pray that you will be the comforter that they so need amen in this time of pandemic in this time of loss amen in this time of bereavement strengthen them we pray and God I thank you for sister Ethel Carter amen she had suffered a stroke amen the enemy wanted to take her out amen but thank you Lord that you have given her another lease on life thank you God that you have given her another opportunity amen as I swung by her yesterday amen I wasn't able to see her but I heard her voice amen and she is in her right mind amen she's able to, to speak Speak. she's able to understand and so God if she's able to speak and understand that means she's able to worship and God as long as she can give you a praise you
you said if I be lifted up from this earth I will draw all men unto me and father help her God even in her sick bed to open her mouth and magnify you because her healing might just be in her praise bring her through Holy Spirit help her to understand that you are God and God alone you can do exceeding abundantly God above that she can ask or even imagine according to the power that is now at work in her body father commit into your hands amen even now sister Casanova once more and her family as they too suffer the loss of a loved one continue God to strengthen them as you have been strengthening them give them more strength and help them to overcome amen in this time and to ride out their storms amen I put into your hands today God almighty every person viewing life that need a special touch from you this morning God I pray that you will lay your hand upon them even now I don't know them this morning but God you know amen every single person in fact you know them by name and you know them by nature and so God I pray that you will lay your hand upon your children for those who need healing I pray that you will send healing those who need deliverance send deliverance those those, those who need a financial breakthrough I pray God that they will get that breakthrough those who have marital issues and need a touch I pray God that you'll restore marriages those whose business oh God is about to collapse I pray God for restoration whatever it is God those whose children are giving trouble God Almighty I pray that you'll restore in the name of Jesus whatever the needs are Father I pray that you will minister to them right now in the name of Jesus break every fetter break every yoke in the name of Jesus you say what we bind on earth is bound in heaven and what we loose on earth is loose in heaven I speak prophetically right now in every person's life God what needs to be bound I pray God you'll bind it right now in the name of Jesus and whatever needs to be loose I pray God that you will loose them in the name of Jesus break every chain right now and give your people the victory in the name of Jesus touch now father touch now father every member of the body of Christ strengthen their faith help them oh God that their faith will be lifted in this unprecedented time this time of uncertainty this time when so many believers are losing their testimonies I say Lord strengthen their faith help them to stand firm help them to be vigilant help them to be unmovable wise as serpents and harmless as doves we believe you right now by faith Holy Spirit that every believer's faith will be strengthened by thee you said to Peter, Peter, the devil is about to sieve you like wheat. But I've prayed that your strength will not fail. I'm praying for every believer right now that their faith will not fail. Do it for your people even now. Lord God, I commit into your hand all the officials today. Minister Mario Christi will break the bread. Thank you for him. Thank you, God Almighty, for Deacon Knight. Thank you for the musicians. Thank you for Minister Ward. Thank you for Deacon Reed. Thank you, God, for the persons in the technical department, Brother Christopher and Sister Amen, Shanika McLeod. I thank you, Heavenly Father, God Almighty, because you have placed them within the body of Christ. Amen. For such a time as this, God, so that we can be effective and relevant in this time. We pray, God, that you will continue to, to strengthen their faith too. So, God, when they, they meet upon times of adversity, oh God, they will remember the goodness of your God and that their faith 
Father, will be sharpened by your words and by, oh God, your, the, the testimonies of your goodness in their lives. Bless them now. Bless our family. Bless our communities. Bless this country. Bless our government. Give them insight and foresight. Sharpen their vision. And make them see the right thing. Give them sound judgment. And cause them to judge a right among this country. So that the decisions, oh God, that are being made. Will be made according to your purpose and will. For the lives of your people. We beseech you now, Father. By your mercies. That you will help us, God Almighty, as a people. To present our body as a living sacrifice, only and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service, and be, be not transformed and conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Do it for us, Father. And God, as we dismiss our service today, we thank you again for your presence. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for this opportunity. That you have given unto us, Father, to be able to break a word on this airwave so that a soul that is dry can be watered, so that a soul that is thirsty can be replenished. Father, we thank you again, and we say, Let God arise in our lives and the enemy be scattered. Let the words of our mouth. And the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. We thank you now. In Jesus' name. Give the mighty God a mighty shout of praise. Come on, those on the outside, they're viewing from your home or wherever you're viewing from. Give the mighty God a mighty shout of praise. Amen. I trust God that you have received the word today from the mouth of the prophet from the mouth of the servant of god amen god speaks through his prophets he speaks through his servants amen and so i trust today that as the man of god stood and proclaimed and declare amen and uh, amen he, he, he spoke in the atmosphere i trust god today that you will not be the same after hearing this word amen after hearing this proclamation this declaration amen we will not remain the same we will amen be able to convince ourselves to remind ourselves that we have life because of the blood somebody say the blood Thank you, Lord. God bless you one more time, Minister Christie. Amen for such prolific word. Amen. Amen. Let me just remind you, believers, that we're still streaming live on our Wednesday night, in our Wednesday night prayer service. We have been having some good times. Yes, we have been having some good times. And so I just want to remind you today so that you can log on this Wednesday night. And that you will share with somebody as you come. Tell somebody that something good is happening over at the Agape Church of God Seventh Day page on Facebook. Amen. So that they too can be beneficiaries of this wonderful blessing. Thank you, Minister Christie. Amen. Amen. Just he was reminding me about the building that we intend to start erecting in very short order that the contributions are still coming amen in fact some someone amen had purchased as i said the first ton of steel somebody else wanted to do so but wanted to do it first and so this person now has now changed that they are going to they're going to um donate the first 1000 blacks amen so somebody else consulted me this week and said okay bishop I'm going to give you the second ton of steel. Amen. We're still accepting donation, brothers and sisters. Amen. Because I tell you, God is in this business. Because in unprecedented precedent, time, in a time of drought, in a time of pandemic, the house of God is being built. Praise God. Don't wonder why the word of God said, upon this rock I will build my church. 
and the gates of hell. Corona can't prevail against it. Amen. A messed up economy cannot prevail against it. A messed up health department can't prevail against the house of God. Amen. And so you can continue to make your pledges, brothers and sisters. As I often tell you, when you sow in this ministry, praise God, you are sowing into a very fertile ministry. Amen. So make that donation, make that sacrifice. God will reward you greatly. Praise the name of the Lord. I think that's it for now. I think that's it for now. Amen. Until we meet on Wednesday night. Amen. Until we meet on Wednesday night. God bless you. Amen. May he keep you and cause his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. And please remember those who are part of the burial fund. Amen. That uh, there is still some outstanding payment that you need to make. For those who have not yet came and um, see Sister Gilbert. Uh, from Monday to Wednesday, Monday and Wednesday. Mondays and Wednesdays from 9 till 2. She's here. So please, those of you who are a part of the burial fund, come and honor your financial obligations. All right? Please. Remember, Sister Rose Ashley is still collecting that little amen, donation for the Shatins. Yes? That's a very powerful ministry. Amen, that she is, amen, carrying out where she's taking care of those who are shut in, those who are less fortunate. She's feeding those who can't feed themselves, all right? And she's not just feeding them. She's buying grocery and, and stuff that they need for the house to keep them, amen, in an healthy and clean and a well-sanitized atmosphere. So please, when you give to that ministry that is headed by Missionary Rose Ashley, you are giving to those who are less fortunate. And the word says, when you give to the poor, you lend to God. And the last time I checked, the word said, the thief borrowed and paid not back. So God is not a thief if you lend something to God. He's going to give it back to you. Hear me today. If you are able to bless that ministry, please do so. God bless you as we close this service. And please remember, beloved, we are still in holy time. Let us keep our conversations and our actions pure and holy. Lift your hands with me. Let me pronounce a very special blessing upon your life. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee. And grant thee his peace. In Jesus name. Somebody holler in Jesus name. God bless you. Amen. Every